hope you're well. Hope you're swell. Hope you're wavy. Hope you're wavy. a little housekeeping. I make music. I make music. I'm doing a song a day challenge on the goal is to drop a song a day until the end of the year. Yesterday was day 159, I think. I think so. And yeah, we're going strong. We'll drop seven songs every Friday, every Friday. Seven songs. So be sure to check all that out. Be sure to check it out. Be sure to check it out. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't see anyone using this before I started using it. Any coincidences happen. Someone has to come up with the same thing. Anyways, just know that I didn't see anyone doing it before I did it. I did the Then again, I don't know if this is a hard trigger to come up with. I can see someone coming up with this by themselves. that is possible right now but it's just you know i'm thinking about the future and if that's something i want to work towards i live in south africa people are quite ignorant about africa and number one i don't know if you know this but it's it's a continent africa is not a country just i've just seen a lot of people talk about it like it's a it's a country it's a continent it's a very big continent with a lot of countries um, and I live in South Africa, which is the most affluent country in terms of, yeah, we're just ahead in a lot of regards, but we still have a lot of challenges. And it makes me wonder if I'd be better off elsewhere. Like, I do think about that, but I love it here. I really do. The people, the culture, the scenery, it's a very like beautiful country, like the Western Cape. The mountains, the, the, the wine farms, just the laid back lifestyle. I lived in the Western Cape for like a couple months. I was at cooking school and it was very beautiful. Like extremely beautiful. A lot of farms, a lot of just mountainous areas, very green, very beautiful, very picturesque, beautiful neighborhoods. There's a lot of beauty in the country, but um, where was I? Yeah, I was just saying that. the country's beautiful. And like, uh, they're, they're just certain limitations. Like right now, we're having like an electricity issue, and it's purely because of the incompetence. Really, really. It's just so dumb. It's just 
no reason we should be experiencing these power outages. Like, you know, they're looting the Federal Reserve and stealing the lives of people from buying themselves cars and all that stuff. Instead of fixing the infrastructure that's used to generate electricity, that can has been breaking down over the years. They have not renovated it at all. A lot of these facilities got a new equipment and they're paying the price right now. It's not a money issue, it's a government governance issue. The people governing us are terrible. So I don't know. It's like I've lived here my whole life, you know. So moving is not a small thing. You kind of feel like, like you're, you're abandoning ship. Instead of staying and fighting, I do want a better life. It's not like life is terrible here. Like I said, it's a beautiful country. We have a lot of good things. But, you know, I just I feel like I could do better elsewhere. But there are not too many places I'd want to go. Because, number one, I'd have to go to like an English speaking country. Because I only speak English, which is uh, something I get roasted for as a, as an African living in an African country. But you know, I was raised in the, with English. I wasn't raised with any other language. I was in a position where I, I had to learn uh, my my mom's language is in Debele. In Debele. Um, it's like it's very similar to Zulu. It's almost the same language, but like I just <laughs> in our house in school, the only language that was ever spoken was English. Like a directive that was given to our school, uh, to our teachers at school. In classrooms, you only speak English. And then the teachers even said to the parents, we would like it if you speak to your kids in English at home, which is a weird thing. I, I, I don't know why that's a requirement. Like, kids can know two languages. But I don't know why they only have to speak English. But that's the thing. And as a result, you know, you just, you don't grow up with that language. So you have to learn by yourself as you get older, which is hard. Learning a new language is not easy when you're an adult. Like, like that. When you're a baby, um, no, it's a bit more challenging. Because now you have to be aware of all the grammar rules and the different tones and how different how the same word can mean different things when you say it in a different tone. And stuff like that. It's, it's hard. Um, so for that reason, I'd probably have to go like a an English-speaking country. Um, I think I'm, yeah. So th that reduces your options quite significantly. Um, so yeah, I'm just thinking like, where would I go? You know, you got your Americas, you got your UK, you got... Australia, New Zealand. I mean, there are other countries that you could go, like, where maybe English isn't the main language, but it's English-friendly. There are several countries like that. And then maybe you can learn, like, like if you go to, like, a... like a South American country, for example... You can learn a bit of Spanish. You don't have to be fluent, like perfectly fluent, but you can learn enough to get by. Or maybe if you want to move to some European country, 
like a France or a Spain or whatever, you can learn a bit of French, a bit of Spanish, because people speak English there, but you know, they prefer to speak their mother tongue. So you can learn a little bit just to get by. So I could do that. And then, yeah, maybe, maybe over time, I don't know, I learn the language. I wasn't able to do that here, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that there. I mean, if I put my mind to it, I could learn a language. It's, it's not impossible. I'm making it sound impossible. It's, it's very possible to learn a new language. It's just a lot of work. And when everyone, like everyone here already speaks English, everyone in South Africa speaks English. So when, when, it's, not it's, when it's not necessary, like, you know, you end up not doing it. Because it's not, it's, not, it's not like a pressing issue. It's not like, oh my God, if I don't learn this language, I'm not going to live a good life or something like that. It's like... But it's definitely possible for me to learn. Um, I just need to... Yeah, it's just a lot of work, guys. It's, that's, it's just, it's, it's just, it, take, it takes a lot. So, you know, that's really the main issue. You have to be super committed. But yeah, um, America would be cool, I guess. Well, but every day there's just something you hear about that country that just makes you go like, oh, I don't know. Like it's people are just always doing weird things over there. So yeah, it's just like, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, it's very scary. I'm talking about like the cultural, social issues, things that this side, people just commonly understand that we don't do those things. In America, it's like, it's like a genuine debate. People actually fight about that. It's insane. Like the gender issues or the issue of the abortion, killing the babies, and this and that. There's this new thing now. Time blindness. Like, the, the concept that you can't be on time for work because you have a condition that keeps you from being on time for things. Like, that's an actual thing people talk about now. It's like, I would never work here, fam. People would laugh at me. I just feel like it's not the it's not the entirety of America, but I feel like some people live such decadent lives, such easy lives, that they complain about the most minuscule things that aren't really challenges. Bam, like if you come this side of the world, where people have real issues, real challenges, you'll quickly find out that your, your, your problems are not problems. You're very privileged. People would laugh at you. If they had your opportunities, oh my God. They'd be so much farther than you in life. But it just seems like in certain parts of America, like people are just tapped mentally. They're just not all the way there. But yeah, oh, my back, I've been bending over. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone that watches. You know, I appreciate you. And you know, I like to pray at the end of my videos just to impart a blessing and uh, positive affirmations, all that good stuff. Dear God, oh God. <laughs> sorry. Mm. Thank you for this individual watching this right now. 
thank you for making them whole and unique and blessing there. Thank you that you're guiding them on a good path. A path to righteousness, a path to a good life where they can be happy, they can be at peace. They have good people who take care of them and make them feel loved and appreciated. And these people push them and help them become the best version of themselves. Good health, long life, and happiness over this individual, Lord. Thank you that their life is an adventure, that they're overcoming their challenges, that they're finding things to smile about and laugh about and tell people about that their day, their days are exciting, that they have so much to look forward to, people to look forward to. And, uh, yeah, continue to bless them and be with them, Lord. In my name I pray. Jesus, name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. See you in the next video.